Hello, hello, welcome back. Continuing on where we left off, which is starting at the uh, beginning of Elicard's adventure. Let's see, you can see him go this way. So something interesting to note here about Alucard is this is the only time in any Castlevania game that Alucard uses a whip. Because depending on the game, uh, Alucard normally uses a sword. In Symphony of Night he gets access to more weapons, you know, like a rod, multiple sword types, uh, even, knuck even uh, brass knuckles. But generally speaking he is a sword user. Where are we? Oh, Belfry, okay. Oh! That was a bad idea. Welcome to the latecomers. Okay, I see now. We're supposed to try to swing underneath there, I think. Now, something to note is Simon, Alucard, and Trevor all have different sub weapons. Okay, so that's not the right way. Oh, 
Whoa! Okay, I see now. It's a timing one. Alright, got it. that weird chimera thing from the uh, opening that Gabriel fought and imprisoned apparently now he's loose so yeah look at what you become <laughs> you don't remember me do you you're just some ugly motherfucker to me Trying to do the hurricane, it's not letting me. So this is a scripted sync sequence. You're supposed to lose this battle. I have been waiting for this moment for a very long time. <laughs> and die! So, here's, a, here's an interesting thing about Mirror of Fate. Simon's story and Elicard's story are happening at the exact same time, meaning you see them at different points in the game when they interact. But they're, they're, they're camp you're basically playing one side of the campaign when you, uh, pick, that, you pick them in the act. And Elicard has some serious bonuses here. So we saw Simon, you know, we saw Alucard plunging down, you know, during the Simon's early, early, uh, you know, campaign. Now we know why. Because he got fucked up. Uh, this regular swimming is so slow, so we're just using the uh, dash. Huh. Must be a spot down there I'm, that I didn't see. Ah. Okay, we got a mine. Hello to the latecomers again.
Down here, budget Zaya. Now, let's see, is there anything else here? Okay, I think we're supposed to use the elevator. No, we're supposed to go vertical. Huh. Oh, shit. That was a lot of damage. So I don't think we can get you know get uh, up go vertical that from that direction. So that we do a little exploration. Get out of here! Whoops. How did they write if he was done? See, I I don't know how they write these scrolls if they're dead, unless there's like, like being created, you know, via memories or something. I don't know. That just seems weird. Also, interesting note. In uh, Symphony of the Night, Alucard could not swim. He could not go into water or he got fucked up. He would actually take damage. He did, however, have the ability to get an item in Symphony of the Night that allowed him, allowed him to go into water. Okay, so we get an ability later on that allows us to do that. Okay, so we need to find a, li uh, a, a life fountain. Okay then. Also, these guys got fucking electricity on them, so yeah. Looks like sushi's on the menu, boys. Oh, so I guess that doesn't regen health. That seems weird. That seems like it shouldn't be, should be giving us health. These guys have hit really, really hard too. What? Considering this is early on in the other cards of injury, I feel like that's not right.
Yeah, okay, they're just straight up blocking the item attacks. I don't get that. That's that seems pretty you know messed up right there. That they were able to do that. Not like those electric mermen. That shows like it was Tom Kitchell fucking stun gun. Oh, it, it, look at it now. Here's one. That would be useful to have a lot sooner. I legit do not get the logic of this game series at times. Only giving us stuff we need after we need it, instead of before. They were mining here. <laughs> what in the fuck is this area? Can't destroy that either, okay. Simon came to do here earlier. It might be the same one. I don't think it was. Going to the uh, left. <laughs> ah. This shit's looking a little, little bit half life in here.
see. I think we're supposed to keep going this way. Let me pass through. Okay, so. Uh Look at this. This skill ability. Something seems wrong. Oh, wait. Ah! Yeah. Use the dodge button to do it, not just regular movement. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Alright, now I understand. That, uh, that uh, area early on, we couldn't figure out how to get through. At least I couldn't figure it out. Let's see which way we need to go. I think we're supposed to go up from here, but... Oh. Yeah, this... Yeah, we can't get through there, okay. That's not a traversable area, alright. Okay, that's a beast door we can't access yet. Okay, so now we're at the theater where Simon was earlier. Oh, 
Okay, this is a really weird, a really weird puzzle that I actually need to look up because I do not remember how to do it. Let's see here. Do do theater. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a, a a very annoying puzzle for me. Okay, I think I... First we need to actually get up here. I think we're supposed to pull it all the way over here. Yep. I do not understand the obsession they had with putting puzzles in the Lords of Shadow games. Like, it's Castlevania, not fucking Resident Evil. Maybe I was thinking of something else then. You know, for a this one was one was much more annoying. It's not possible. Ah, uh, yeah, this might actually be the annoying puzzle.
Okay, I think I can bring it all the way down here. Oh, you know, it's, I think I'm supposed to put, uh, put it underneath here. Reading chat, I don't understand what's happening here. So it's a puzzle to have to solve. You know, unfortunately, puzzles and lords of shadow range from either easy or just fucking obnoxious. And I think we may have gotten one of those, one of those fucking obnoxious ones. Basically, we need to. You know, solved a puzzle, and I'm not sure how. I may need to have it closer. That was a bad idea. We need to get this uh, magnetic one. Mag sorry, magnetic one down. I don't know how to get it. Whoops, hit the wrong button. Okay, let me look at what it says here. So we need to get the weight box all the way to the left, according to this. Alright, so let's try that. Alright, let me see what it says now. Hmm. So we need to push the airbox to the left too. I feel like we weren't supposed to... Yeah, okay, that's not working. Let me see. So let's use it to access an area. And I don't think it's possible to reset this puzzle. Oh, wait. I think we're supposed to use... It. Oh, yeah. I, okay, I understand now. I think I understand now.
Okay, I think we got it now. Let's get that back up there, because I think now we can use the use the air box, air box on that last one on the uh, underneath there. Yep. He knows it's, there's a relation here. Come here, you little bastard. Got ya. Holy shit, that's a big fucking rat. We just get... Whoa. So did we just get ganked by fucking Twitch? Fucking jungle Twitch. That wind-up delay is so much. Yeah, see, uh, I don't know why it takes so long to, to fire off. Seems like it's you know, effectively useless for anything other than you know, random mobs. I really feel like that hurricane is just not good against bosses. Damn. Take an old man Logan approach on out. Such a wind up delay on it, it's a shame. Okay, I couldn't even. <sighs> couldn't, wouldn't let me dash.
Die, you ugly son of a bitch. Die. Okay, then. Wait, what are those? What are those things? Explosive beans? God damn! I think those match be kidneys or something. I don't know what the hell they are. So we got Shadow Claws. Oh, that's what that uh, weird uh, thing was earlier that I saw on the way in that huge pipe area. Okay, so this functions a lot like the wall jumping in Mega Man X games. That's cool. It's been a long time since I played this, so I did not remember how that worked. <sighs> Please, not another puzzle. <sighs> yeah, this is gonna be a puzzle, isn't it? Again, I don't know why they had so many damn puzzles in a game that's not meant to be puzzle heavy. Rare game, game uh, series. Alright, let me look at what it says here. Hmm. Guess we're not actually supposed to be here yet. Alright, just a moment, just making sure I got understand what I'm supposed to do here. So we're not actually supposed to do anything here except pop the switch that we saw. Alright. We'll move on. Reading chat <laughs> might just be uncharted. Well, he didn't like that. Oh shit, Robo Cartus. Whoa! Holy shit! Turned to fucking Warwick. Red Rage Warwick. I think we were supposed to do a jump or something up there. <sighs> yep, I see it now. Ooh, ominous. Looking like the Joker in the hobo phase. Seriously, does that not look like hobo Joker?
you didn't think it had any extra powers other than just popping open certain doors. Oh, it gives him more damage. Oh, okay, that's cool. We're gonna have to remember that in case we have some trouble with bosses or something. Okay. <laughs> Reading chat, yeah, I agree, it is weird. Yeah, that you would still be limited to the whip while you're in wolf mode. You'd think you'd be using claws and such. Ah! Uh, what? Okay, so we got a weird path to get up through here. But you know, this game was originally, uh, uh I think it was a originally released. Oh, yeah, now I get this. I was gonna say, this is originally released as a, I think, an Xbox Live. In a PlayStation Network title, and then it got Steam re released with uh, upgraded components and such. Okay, I don't think we need to switch to Wolf Form for that. Yeah. Oh, fuck! Wow, one shot and you go all the way down. That's fucked up. I think it would just be a small thing, you know, damage or something. Now we gotta go do all that again. I can tell I do not like this area. Oh, that's an upgrade we got long ago, I guess. Ow. Oh, god damn it! And the checkpoints are not good in this area, I think. Yes, he puts us all the way at the back. <sighs> So one fuck up and you're done. <sighs> it would be nice to be able to skip this area, but... <sighs> and I got fried again. Goddamn fried chicken. Okay, that's not... Can't go to there. What kind of hellhole factory is this? Fuck.
Why is that so fast? I hate this area so much. This is like legit anti-fun. Try to go again. Seriously, why is that so fast? Yeah, don't go that way. Oh, fuck, we are supposed to go that way. Shit. Ah, oh, I hate this area so much. What are you supposed to do? Yeah, it's it, you know it's not there, but it still counts as being there. It's so damn dumb. This area, this, you know, this is, has, got, this, okay, this game does have some really bad, you know, decisions. That, like, the, you know, this it just should not fucking exist. Oh, sure, that one doesn't knock me down, but the other one does. Yeah, see? I don't get that logic. The one at the bottom doesn't knock me down, but the one at the top does. It, didn't I? Uh, this area is just incredibly aggravating. It should not be this aggravating. There. There's no actual pattern, it's just crazy fast. Oh. So it requires split second timing. Really wouldn't be so bad if the level checkpoint was much higher up right in at the start. Okay, I see it now. It's really not obvious sometimes which way you're supposed to go. Huh. I think we're supposed to go through here, but... Oh. Okay, so... it's. Yeah, it says we're supposed to use that button. Let me see what it says here. Because, you know, we're using a jump button, but it's knocking us down. And I don't think that's supposed to be going on. Hmm. 
Uh, I guess we are supposed to go to that spot. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, that would just take us all the way back down, which is not what we want. Ah, it's timing, okay. I do not like how uh, it's very un unintuitive sometimes. Let's ignore that. Oh, their life gone. Okay, good. I smell upgrade coming. Ah, oh, we can use this on traps. Nice. That should help with those damn electricity areas. <laughs> well, that was uh, not what I intended. Okay, yeah, it does not work on that. It probably does work on the other ones, though. Down you go. Okay, back out we go. Yeah, it does work on those damn things. Good. Good to know. Damn, did you responding so fast?
Yoink! That was easy. Okay, so we need to go vertical. All right, just a moment. Need to go AFK a moment, sorry. All right, we're back. We're good to go now. So let's keep going. Uh, oh, whoops, I was tapped out. There we go. Well, so one way to get past it. That's that area from before. So you mean, t you know, I got, I got to ask. You mean to tell me that Dracula had a fucking magnetic, you know, transport system in his castle? What the fuck? Yeah, I know Jack, the uh, Castlevania is a, a castle, a, you know, a creature of chaos, but this is a bit fucking much. I'm going to activate this, this uh, teleport just in case we need it.
Carol sells the engine. Okay, so this is the reverse uh, of the. Well, hold on. As I was gonna say, this is the reverse of the, the uh, carousel we had it was as Simon. Okay, that's just an upgrade area. Oh no, not another puzzle. Ugh. I hate the puzzles. <laughs> Alucard knows how exactly how I fucking feel. Get this one. This is not causing damage. I really do not understand the obsession they had with puzzles. Okay, and then we have to move these ground ones. these down here somehow. Ah, 
I think I, we were supposed to use the, the right side one to begin with. Let's see what it says we're supposed to do for this. Okay, I think we need to, to move the uh, left le left lever now. Okay, maybe the right one then. So we're supposed to direct it to the top of the screen. You know, it's a light relay puzzle. Alright, let me see what it says here. Okay, the middle said middle left past up below the orb. Hmm, it's hard about visual reference. Okay, I think yeah, I think we just put that one there. So let me see. Yeah, I think that's the right spot. Why does he sound so damn winded whenever he, you know, you know, uh, you know throws a lever? Lever.
Oh, I think we're hearing Simon grunting. That's what's going on. I just don't know what, you know, it's, that, yeah, you know the one on the left is the problem here. I can't seem to get out of the way. See if I put okay. Let's be shooting it towards the gears, and I don't see where the gears are around here. Let's just talk about that one in the middle, the uh, upper center. instructions are really bad like they're just says far right left right ugh. be much easier a visual reference let me see if I can look for one up real quick Hmm. Okay, I think. Let me see. I'm, having, I'm looking at something now, and it may have gotten. Let's see. There we go. What a pain. Oops, sorry. And we got an achievement apparently. I have to look that up in a moment. Shit! I kind of forgot he was watching the entire fucking time. brother with warriors that ever lived, yet he could not defeat Dracula. What makes you think that you can? Answer me. Did you know my father? This I promise. It's still no damn answer. <laughs> not stand alone against him.
Okay, so let's, let's see what was that achievement. The pulled up. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, we uh, tamed all the skills because uh, yeah, that was the uh, level one. Right, the uh, maximum level one. All right, so what was that skill? What is that skill, dude? Oh, tornado. Oh, okay, so it's the opposite of yeah. That's why it's so damn it takes so long to uh, wind up because it's got most damaging attack. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit! He's back. Much better. This way, I'll be able to deliver your remains to the toy maker. And hey, where is that toy maker? I got a fucking worm about his fucking shop. Interesting that works on bosses. <laughs> Thanks to you, I am now more powerful than ever. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what the hell we're supposed to actually do there. I guess just I guess just dodge all that. Well. Go throw like electric fists at me or something. I'm not sure what the fuck he just did. It looked, looked like electric fists. I guess that's a safe spot. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm trying to regen health. Oh, he blocks that. Yep. Let's go back to the last checkpoint so we get help back. So he blocks that. That's not good. Oh, come on. Ugh. Doesn't even go to boss checkpoint. It's the damn... Can't 
can't skip this little mini cutscene. Thanks to you, I am now more powerful than ever. <laughs> Can't skip this mini cutscene either. Okay, seems simple enough. What the fuck? It's just inside the range or something. It should be a safe spot. Ugh, whatever. I, I wonder if he's just looping the same thing over and over. Okay or not. He is regenerating. Oh, shit. Alright, let me see how we're supposed to deal with this guy. Okay, so we're supposed to smash the generator. Yeah, we were too slow. Might just take you know, take the you know, the boss reset. All right. Okay, he just does so much damage, apparently. Those things take so much damage to die. They're fucking destroyable objects. Come on. This guy does so much damn damage anyway. Bastard Fry!
smart ass. My dots exactly. Ah, damn. Fried vampire. At least it, at least it takes it right back to it. <laughs> and now dad right after. Okay, we got the PT again. Great. Let's be done with this man. Oh, now we can dash. Damn it, die! Oh, great, we're snacking on him. Whoa! Okay, then. Oh, fucking time we got to damn, you know, double jump. It's about time. Shane Simon doesn't get that. At least I don't think he does. <laughs> Damn, looks like Joker's been rolling through here. Ooh, and the glide. Alright, let's see which way we're supposed to go up. Oh. I swear it's not obvious obvious at first that sometimes. like these vampires. It's cool. This might be the final battle.
die, damn it. Done with these damn things. It would seem not. Oh no. Well, at least we could put him against the wall. There we go. We might finally be at the end. I don't know. Oh, fucking hell. A fetch quest. Why? Why is there a fetch quest? I've ever seen that before. Holy shit. All the more reason to kill those damn things as soon as they spawn. And I am noping out. Alright, so Vampire's Tower. Let's see. Okay, so it's an upgrade. I do not like those things, they look like budget cogwell to me. Chow down!
Damn, gliding around like Batman. I guess that just happened. Damn it! <sighs> Jumps can be really, really punishing in this game. More so than any, any previous Castlevanias, I think. We just got hosed hard. Jump up. What? Not a god damn it again. Why is that a thing? It's so fucking annoying. Yo, yo for yo, for being Lords of Shadow. Oh, okay, right. For being a game that uses a classic 2D Metroidvania formula, it's not that bad. It's just got some really fucking obnoxious elements to it. It just are not good at all. Like how jacked up the damage you take is from stuff like those pitfalls. Like, come on. What, what was that? Yeah, we got this option, you know? Holy shit, though. That fucking knockback is idiotic beyond belief. I don't think even, I don't think even the original Castlevania games have that, had that kind of stupid shit in it. Okay, let's well, get a lower checkpoint so we don't have to go all the way back down. All right. <laughs> okay, then. And it would not let me grab onto that hook point. What? <laughs> yeah, see, it did it again. Why is it just not wanting to let me do that?
Seems like it just want doesn't want to behave now all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, see look. It's not just straight up ignoring it. It's not let me I don't know. Okay, I think I know. I think what we can do is just uh, fall down, but use the double jump to glide over. Hope I can actually see down there. Yeah, see, look at it now. It wants to, but uh, this thing is temperamental as shit, isn't it? So of course we were going the wrong way. Oh yeah, now that one's open. What? What is with the level design here? That's some really asinine choices, you know. What just happened? Now it now it's not one let's go over there. What? I think I understand the logic this game has sometimes. Yeah, now it does. What? I just, I legitimately don't understand what's going on here. Oh, for fuck's sake, I hate the... There's no way to block against that as, as Alucard, apparently. You're just supposed to t you know, sit there and take it. And you get end up getting chain killed as a result. That is ridiculous. And of course, this the double jump hitbox doesn't want to work properly. <sighs> I do not understand what is, that that seems like a really bad design error. First one. <sighs> Wait, why is it all the way back in the kitchen? God damn it. Oh boy, so we got a lot of back. Un this seems like unnecessary back you know, padding. <sighs> oh, maybe we can get to a teleporter, but this seems like a, a lot of unnecessary padding. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here. I don't think there's a teleporter around here. We had to go back to the toy maker workshop.
Okay. Well, what kind of vampire dies to fall damage? You should be immune to that. Ugh. Whatever. And a naturally unskippable cutscene, because why not? Let's just ignore these guys. I don't have the patience. I want to get through this. Grab this on the way through. So that's cool. That's good. We got another Bastari. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, we can use this to quickly move faster. So we have to go all the way back manually. Oh! So that was a lot less of a fucking hassle than the first one. Ain't that some shit? That's actually tilting a bit. Thank you. 
where's the teleport? There we go. So keep going this way. Those night vampires can go fuck themselves, I say. Okay, good, did not reset. Oh wait, we're supposed to go the other way. Anyway, that, that was a completely unnecessary fetch quest. How did he carry those damn things around? He's got no pockets, no back, you know, backpack. What the hell?
good of you to join us, Alan Carr. Father. It's been a long time. It seems fate has given me a second chance. I have come to finish what I started. I know why you have come. I had hoped you would stand with me, son. Hope that you would understand why I must destroy the Brotherhood. Join me in remaking this world. Join you? Look at me. You've made me a monster. Father, you made me like you. A creature that thirsts for blood, filled with hatred. You should have let me die that night. No, Matt. It all ends now. Let him go. This is between me and you. He is a Belmont. I will not suffer that bloodline to live any longer. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up pimp slaps him. So that fireball technique, we've seen that before. He does use a little bit of the classic Dracula attacks. <laughs> yeah, that was straight out of fucking Castlevania 3. Oh. Deal with him, I did not mean to. There we go. Okay, hold on just a moment, please. Uh, I doubt. Never mind. I, I was looking at something. I doubt the window was out of focus. It's okay though. We're good. No, I won't fight against you. So you cannot actually attack him. Hold your card. Release your anger. Got to get three blocks, I think. Yeah. To harm you, Simon. Yeah, I think you just gotta keep blocking till it's over. You have to be synchronized block. Okay, yeah, you block and you grab. Do you need my help? I'll use it. Shit, why couldn't we do that, Lords of Shadow? There's that fucking that was a cool attack. Why couldn't we do that? Oh. 
and the, te the teleport text. Come on, we needed that, those tricks. This is bullshit. No, Simon, it must be you. This is not how a vampire is supposed to die. What do you mean? What's the pendant you are wearing? Not a chance. It was a gift from my father. It's all I have of him. Your father gave you that without knowing its true power. As long as you wear it, you will not be able to decide or act entirely for yourself. Your actions will be guided, manipulated. Do you think you are here entirely of your own free will? Let it go. It doesn't belong to you. Just as it did not belong to your father. Give it up. Will you tell me now who you are? So Trevor's story takes place before uh, Simon's, you know, right, right before the main game, because Simon's and you know, Alcars take place at the same time. Simon, please leave it. It's not a toy. Why has the Brotherhood waited until now to tell you this? I don't know. I suspect they believed he would not return. It must be me, Cypher. It can be no other. You understand that, don't you? For the honor of my own family, I cannot live with this shame. I must protect you and Simon from this. I must avenge my mother. I have carried this small piece of mirror since I was a boy. It is said it comes from a magical mirror, capable of showing your past and true fate. Though it has never shown me anything, perhaps one day, my son, it will reveal something of yours. Keep it and always carry it with you, Simon. Will you do that for me? I have not returned by dawn. Take the boy and leave this place far behind. Take to the forest. Do not look for me. Come back to us. It's like he knew. My love. This is, you know, the, the um, combat cross he uses is actually replica. You know, yeah, it, it, so it's a, it was a copy the entire time, and not the actual combat cross. So it, it is, it is explained here. Something to note here is Trevor can double jump. Anyway, that is it for chapter two or act two. Next time we'll do Trevor's story. It's actually technically not needed, but it does it does explain some things in Lords of Shadow uh, 2. 
But anyway, that is it for now. Thanks for watching.